everyone and welcome to this part of introduction to continuum mechanics so in this video we are going to discuss some initial notation manipulations such as substitution multiplication factoring contraction and finally i will provide you with scalar and vector triple products so we use the knowledge we gain up until now into the calculation of scalar and vector triple products so let's get started by substitution here suppose i have two expressions like a uh, i here equal to uh, u i m b m and I also have another expression like bi is equal to v i m c m. When we already talked about the indices, but we review everything here again. So we have m as the dummy index because it is repeated twice, and i as the free index. So if it appears on the right hand side, it should appear on the left hand side as well. So uh, if if we are going to plug in bi in ai, so what uh, we need to do, so in order to do this, so we may say that ai is equal to u i m instead of b, you write simply v i m c m. But uh, as you see here, we have M repeated three times and I is not a free index anymore. So it can't appear on the left hand side. So this, this solution is completely incorrect. We have to use another strategy. So before doing anything, we have to change the uh, subscript here in B uh to something else so for example so let's say that okay as the first uh, step we need to change b for example bi to bj so we say that okay bj uh if we change i to j so this is j and instead of writing n uh, m because we are not uh, allowed to repeat m three times so more than two times as we uh, made an agreement in the previous video so we have vj uh, n c n here and then uh, in a step two let's write it down here in step one and a step two so a i is of course equal to so instead of writing again so since we have here j so we may say okay u i m b m but we know that uh, we uh, change this uh, m to j so this becomes u i j b j and again here j is a dummy index so uh, it can be replaced uh, so m uh, it uh, m is a dummy index so j can be replaced with m so what we get here is of course u i j and here we have v j n so from step one uh or it's better to say maybe we can make this a bit larger so from a step one so we can write uh v j n because now we are reading b j c n and as you see here again we have n n here as the dom index and j as uh, also another dom index and we have i as a free index so you can see that ai uh, this is a vector of course and here what you have is ai so i is a free index so it repeats another side as uh, you know uh, as free index so uh this recaps the substitution now let's move to the multiplication 
So in multiplication, multiplication, what we have is uh, something like this. So suppose that you have two expressions here. You have P as AM, BM, and you have, of course, Q as CM, DM. And you know P and Q are both scalars because you have two repeated indices here. So M and M here, they are both like uh, uh, domain ind uh, indices uh, and in both is domain index so uh, let's say that we want to know what is the multiplication of p and q so pq is equal to a m b m c m d m which is somehow completely incorrect because we know that we are not allowed to use a subscript in each term more than twice so this is incorrect before doing this so we have to again for example in a step one we have to change q for example or p doesn't make the difference so i start with q so q i can write it at cn uh, or ci di for example so i'm i'm not going to restrict myself to n so i just change it to ci di and then in the step two i can say that pq is equal to uh sorry a m b m c i d i and here i did not violate the, the agreement that we made during the uh, summation convention we have m and i as the domain this is here and um, each is not repeated more than twice uh, so let's get to the next part which is factoring this is a bit tricky so uh if you have an expression like uh, t i j and j minus lambda and i is equal to zero and here uh, i have to mention that this lambda here is a scalar field so it does not get any index here or super uh, super uh, or subscript here so as you see here, this is equal to uh, a vector field because you have a J as the DOM index and I as a frame index. So it will turn as something like, for example, let's say VI or AI, something like this. And this one is also a vector field because you have a scalar times a uh, vector field ni so this will for example become mi something like this so we have a vector field minus a vector field and that makes sense so uh, in order to uh, take the, fa uh, the factor so for example if i want to factor out nj here so uh, i have to uh, for example, write something like this. So I may write something like nj here. And I say tij minus lambda is equal to zero, uh, which is incorrect. So we have to see here, we have to uh, investigate the reason here. So uh, I simply change ni to nj because I know that, okay, if I just substitute ni, with uh, let's say lambda n j it doesn't uh, actually change anything but but here there's a big but here because uh, if you write uh, like t i j n j minus lambda n j equal to zero then you have something like a i minus so you know that j is a dummy index here so uh, you will get something like AI minus, 
and uh, this will get something like B J and this is something which is not allowed in the summation convention because the two indices are different so this this is supposed to be B I so you're not supposed to do something like this this is completely incorrect so you cannot simply change this n i to n j so we will remove this here so in order to create this uh, n i here and uh, also uh, be able to uh, factor out n j uh, we have to uh, make a very uh, we have to make a manipulation uh, here in this term so suppose that if you have, uh, if you remember kernel delta, delta ij is equal to, uh, let's say, uh, 1 if i is equal to j, and it is 0 if i is not equal to j. Therefore, if I write delta, uh, lambda, delta, uh, lambda n i, is equal to lambda delta i j n i and you see here that this expression becomes actually something like n j because now i is a free uh, is a dom index and j is a free index so what we want to get is something like n i so we have to also mm, uh, make another manipulation and change this to n j so finally if we change this to nj, so what we get is ni, so this becomes delta ni. So uh, if I write this here, uh, so we have this tij minus lambda ni is equal to zero, but I made this, uh, let's say, one from one, we get something like T, oh, sorry, I missed this Tij, this Nj here. So this is uh, Tij Nj minus lambda delta Ij uh, Nj equal to zero. Now I will be able to factor out Nj. So I will have Nj, uh, and it's better to write it this way instead of writing Nj uh, open parenthesis. So I open parenthesis Tij minus lambda delta Ij uh, Nj is equal to zero. And uh, this is factoring. So uh, the next is uh, contraction. So in contraction uh, uh, we actually sum on the index. So if you have, for example, Tij, uh, so Tii is the contraction of Tij. So it's better to write it this way. Tii is the contraction of T. I J. So, for example, if you have an expression like uh, T I J, and you write it in the contract form, so we implement the contraction. So we make two indices equal to each other. So this becomes T I I, and of course this is T one one plus T two two plus T three three, because now I is uh, transformed into a DOM index and we sum over the DOM index here. Um, so for example, if you have an expression like Tij is equal to lambda delta delta Ij uh, plus 2 mu Eij and here lambda and mu they're constants so we call them lambda's constants uh, and uh, we have this delta capital delta then delta i j here so actually this uh, indicates the trace of, of a tensor so we'll talk about this uh, actually later um, 
and we have this eij which is the strain tensor here uh, and this is the uh, stress tensor so if we have an expression like this and we're going to uh, apply contraction on this we see that ij is equal to uh, becomes ii so i is equal to j so this becomes the lambda capital delta delta i i of course because i is equal to j so this becomes uh, i i plus 2 mu e i i and this can be further simplified because we know that delta i i is 3 basically so this is 3 so this becomes 3 lambda delta plus 2 mu uh, e i i so the next topic is the scalar triple product uh, so we define the scalar triple product as uh, something like uh, a dot b cross c so if we write this in uh, tensorial form uh, we have a i e i as we already discussed this in the previous uh, video b uh, we can't put i e i because we know that uh, now i repeats four times and this violates the agreement we made in the previous uh, in the, the summation convention so i change this to uh, bj ej cross uh, and again i use another uh, index like k for example but you can use whatever you want so for example you can put a p e p b q e q cross c m e so uh now to calculate everything we know that uh first uh, before getting to the result and doing the calculation we know that this cross product uh is basically a vector so we will get us a vector and this uh, vector dot this vector or the dot product of two vector is finally a scalar uh so first let's get us started with this here so i put it one or maybe two because we had previously one so b j e j cross c k e k so these are the magnitude we can take them out so this is b j c k and this is e j cross e k so this becomes b j c k and according to the agreement we made we had i j j and k and this is positive clockwise so if we have j and k so the cross product of j and k gives i uh, but here we cannot put i so let, let's write it down here so this is epsilon j uh, k i e i so if i put this here from here to here i will not be able because i uh, to write this uh, and use the summation convention because i have i i here twice and i and i here twice so uh, i have to go for another uh, kind of you know index so i have j k i so i need to further change this to uh, let's say for example m e m so what i get so if i shift this down okay so this is equal to a i e i dot bj 
CK, Epsilon J, K, M, E, N. And this is again a magnitude. This is a magnitude, so I can take them out. So I will have something like AI, EJ, CK, Epsilon J, K, M. And I have EI dot E, M here. So, uh, and we already discussed uh, ei.em. We said that uh, we only discuss uh, the, the coordinate systems which are orthogonal. Therefore, uh, the dot product of two uh, unit uh, vector will be uh, delta im. So we have AI, BJ, CK, Epsilon, J, K, M. And this is, of course, Delta I, M. And for, uh, for get a value, um, a meaning value, because we know that, okay, here, if I is equal to uh, M, it is 1. But if they are not equal, so it becomes zero. So to get um, to get a meaningful value for this expression, we have to say that okay, i should be equal to m. Therefore, delta is takes the value of one. So we get a i b j c k epsilon j k. And instead of m, I write i here. And uh, so this is the final value. These are magnitudes because this is uh, a value. It's a value. And this is, these are also uh, magnitudes. So the overall uh, solution will be a magnitude. The final solution will be a scalar. Sorry. And uh, to see if uh, what is the value of epsilon jki. So... We see here we have jki so it is one so this becomes ai bj c k of course uh all right so uh from this solution we can uh also make make some conclusions here like we can say that okay a uh let's write them down here so we can say a dot uh, B cross C, I do not put this uh, arrow here, so we know that they are vectors. Uh, so A dot B cross C is basically AI BJ uh, CK, and this is epsilon IJK. Uh, I wrote it as IJK because we know that epsilon from here, I can write it, epsilon IJK, is equal to epsilon jki is equal to epsilon kij and here what we had was epsilon jki jki so it is equal to ijk so i can write this as again for example epsilon ijk for example all right, uh, and I also have this B dot, so I shift everything uh, for, for let's say, um, for one uh, place backward. So, so, so I shift everything uh, once backward. So I have B, C cross A. This becomes uh, B, J, C, K. AI and this is epsilon JKI. So uh, look at uh, you see, look at this uh, substitution we made here. So this is IJKIJK, -I this is JKIJKI. And finally, we have C dot and this becomes A cross B. So this becomes C K A I B J uh, A I B J and this is k i j so uh suppose that uh if you have uh something like uh 
a scalar field uh, times one of these vectors here. So for example, suppose, uh, or let us, uh, or let alpha be a scalar. So what we have here is like alpha a dot b cross c. So again, what we get is something like alpha a i b j c k epsilon i j k. And if we have something like b, uh, like alpha b dot c cross a, again, we get alpha b j c k a i epsilon j k i. So you all see here that this alpha is a scalar and we can take this out and uh, write all of these expressions so it doesn't uh, same as before uh, only times alpha so here it doesn't uh, make any change to the expressions we are dealing with so uh, the next is the vector triple product Uh, this is a bit complicated, so uh, let's write A cross B cross C. So uh, we know that all of these are vector fields, so uh, I just wanted to just emphasize here. So again, we have AI EI cross B, and here uh, you have to uh, let me just complete this B, J, E, J. Now you're completely familiar and comfortable with this kind of writing notations. So we have C, K, uh, sorry, we have C, K, E, K, that's three. Okay, and uh, here you see it's writing uh, uh, and putting the parentheses so where you open and where you close it, it's quite important because here the uh, the result is a vector fill and you have a vector here so it matters uh, if you uh, multiply uh, if you cross product this vector with this vector first with the last one or if you do the cross product for the last two and finally with the first one that's why uh, it is quite important to put parentheses where you desire. If you have dots, you know that um, putting this uh, parentheses here is quite absurd because we know that uh, we have a vector here and we have a vector here. So the cross product is a vector. So uh, you cannot, uh, for example, uh, do this first because this gives you a scalar field and you can uh, cross product a scalar field with a vector field it doesn't make sense so uh, I put the parentheses again here and again I start with this as let's say uh, 3 so in 3 uh, or let's write it down here in three, I have B J E J cross C K E K. So again, here uh, we have these. These are the magnitudes. We can take them out. B J C K E J cross E K, and uh, you have uh, the cross product of two orthogonal uh, directions. So this becomes B, J, C, K. So you have epsilon, J, K, and for example, I use M, for example. So uh, let me just write it again here for the sake of clarity. So you have J, K, L. This is M here. So you have B, J, C, K, epsilon, J, K, M, uh, E, 
m for example here and you have a vector so if we just put this here so we have ai ei cross uh, uh, let's say bj ck epsilon j k m e m so next we have this magnitude this is a magnitude also so we take them out this is ai bj ck epsilon j k m and we have ai cross uh, sorry ei cross e m and here again you have i uh, uh, m for example and you have n so these are of course positive so you can write this as ai bj ck epsilon j k m and i have ei cross em so i can write i m and i write n for example e n so finally what you get is a magnitude and you have this as a vector and the whole expression is of course a vector this is the direction here all right and uh you know that here i m n is of course equal to m n i so we have uh even permutations and this is equal to n i m so epsilon uh let's write it like epsilon is equal to this epsilon so epsilon i m n is equal to epsilon m n i is equal to epsilon n i m of course actually this expression here uh can be further uh simplified so if you look at the equation 247 on page 7 of the book so let's see that this is four or maybe write it like this is four so equation two four seven uh so it says that epsilon i j m epsilon k l m is equal to delta i k delta j l minus delta i l delta j k so uh this can be simply uh proved by writing all the terms you will get something like this you can prove this uh simply by for example uh, writing uh uh, by setting i if by for example starting from the dummy index because you're going to uh sum over the dummy index and set m equal to one so this becomes epsilon i j one epsilon k l one plus epsilon i j two epsilon k l two blah 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 and uh then you can also write different values for i j uh, k and l and you will get uh, what you want and you know that these uh, actually make sense uh, these um, you know these expressions here on the right hand side because uh, to get delta i k for example equal to one i should be equal to k so uh, you can uh, write these expressions here and you can prove it in different ways by writing all the equations or by setting for example i equal to k and you write it for this case so uh, you write it for another case and this goes until you uh, prove this expression here so uh, let me just copy this expression here uh, whoops All right so uh 
And one beautiful thing about this expression is how you can memorize this. So you see that you have uh, M as the uh, DOM index here. So uh, you simply remove it on the right hand side. So you have, uh, you say that, okay, you have delta I, K, and this is J, L. So first goes with first, second goes with second index. Then you swap the uh, index, uh, actually the index order. So uh, minus delta I goes with L. So first goes with second, and the second goes with the first. So this becomes delta I, L, minus, del uh, sorry, times J, K. Okay, uh, so for this expression here, uh, we can rewrite this, uh, sorry, this part here, say five, we can rewrite this as epsilon J, K, M, this is epsilon I, M, N. And we already mentioned here that I M N is equal to N I M. So I can replace this silent J K M. So with this manipulation, uh, this is N I N I M. N I M. So I created this situation here, like the ones you see here. So I have a free index as a uh, DOM index like M here. And I have J, K, N, I as the free index. So this becomes delta. So first goes with first, J, N, delta second, second, K, I, minus uh, delta first with the second. So this is J, I, and second with the first. So this is delta K, N. So I substitute five in the above equation. So uh, we rewrite this equation. So Equation four becomes a i b j c k. Uh, I write this uh, in a parenthesis. Uh, so I open a parenthesis delta j n delta k i minus delta j i delta k n e n. So I further expand this equation here. So uh, this expression here, a i b j c k delta j n delta k i e n minus a i b j c k delta j i delta k n e n. So for the first expression to be meaningful and not to be equal to zero, uh, J should be equal to N and K should be equal to I. So J should be equal to N and K should be equal to I. For the second expression, J should be equal to I and K should be equal to N. Uh, Okay, so, so this becomes A, I, so J is equal to N, so I continue with writing J, because I want to substitute. Uh, so K is equal to I, so I can write this K as I, so delta J is equal to N, sorry, so this becomes E, J, perfect, minus uh, here j is equal to i, so a i b j is equal to i, so this becomes i, and k is equal to n. So I leave k, I change e uh, n to k. Perfect. So I can further uh, simplify this. So I have here, you see here, you have b j e j, and uh, you have c k e k. So I may highlight this. Uh, so we have B, 
bj and we have these together so this becomes ai ci then you have bj ej minus ai bi ck ek and of course this is nothing but let's say this is b the vector b and this is the vector c and these are basically the dot product of a and c because you have you know the magnitude here only and this is uh, a dot b here so i can write this as a dot c b minus a dot b c here and uh this is the final answer so if you do this for different expressions you can write for example uh, so we already calculated let's write it down again a cross b cross c is equal to a dot c b minus a no, sorry dot b c and uh, this is b cross c cross uh, a so i uh, just shift everything once uh, one backward uh, so this becomes uh, basically b dot a c minus b dot c a and uh, c cross a cross b uh, is equal to c dot b a minus c dot a b and uh, an important property here is that if we copy everything here so I paste it here and I put a summation here say okay this plus this so this plus this plus this so you see here that uh, this can be cancelled out with each other so you have a dot c b so this is c dot a which is equal to so you know that c dot a is equal to a dot c it doesn't make uh, any difference but uh, c cross a is equal to minus a cross c so they are not equal to each other uh, so this being cancelled with this so this is a dot b uh, b dot a it's been can be cancelled and b dot c is equal to c dot b so this can be cancelled uh, so finally what you get is a cross b cross c plus b cross c cross a plus c cross a cross b is equal to zero uh, so this recaps our uh, discussion on the initial notation manipulation and uh, triple products 